Uh-huh. Lee County Recorder Nancy Booten was boxing up to move to her new office at the Lee County Courthouse in Keokuk when she uncovered yeah, hidden see. treasures from southeast Iowa's past. It was kind of like that, wow, this is, this is history. This is old. You're holding something that somebody held over 100 years ago. They found a variety of items, some crumbling books with songs and stories from the Civil War, as well as a list of area soldiers discharged from the military. All of them evident that they haven't been touched in more than 100 years. This is called a flowage in other lands in the Mississippi River. Lee County First Deputy um, Auditor Denise Frazee was working with a co-worker in this uh, vault, making room in their yes. office for records from Keokuk when they encountered a similar find, historic inmate registries and school funding registries from the 1800s. Those finds pointed out the extreme differences between then and now. It was kind of interesting to think that people doing the job that we do now, had done it in these big, huge books. We're very thankful we don't have to keep these things written by hand. A lot of it's written in calligraphy, and I can't even hardly read it. So that took, that was very labor intensive. The fees were like 50 cents back then. Mm -hmm. Well, a recorder would actually have to hand stamp each individual document letter by letter. To me, they asked me what we're going to do with them, and it's like, whoa, these are priceless. The Lee County Board of Supervisors decided to donate the history to the county's historical society. And that's how these documents made its way to the North Lee County Historical Museum. But once they made it here, folks started getting calls from genealogists all over the area. They're hoping to use these documents here to locate names, addresses, occupations, and even tax records, which would help them research their family history. I haven't digested all the information, but the most interesting parts I found is early education in Lee County. A lot of people have tried to write that history of the one-room schoolhouses, but they've been lacking information. And now they'll be able to fill in the blanks using these rare records. Melissa Shriver, KHQA News, Lee County.